guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to 3D model some pumpkins because uh, it's perfect for the fall season, so why not? First thing, uh, just go ahead and open up a blank scene and you're going to grab a sphere. So for this sphere, what I'm going to do is click on Polysphere 1. And I'm just going to edit it to be only like 10 sections, something like that. Now what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and double click each of these edges while holding tab. I think you could also hold shift and double click. Um, yeah, that looks good. And then I want you to control B bevel it and do two segments. So there's one in the middle and you can make it however big or small you need it to be. It doesn't need to be that big, but. All right, next you're gonna double click each of those lines in the middle, hold tab or shift, so you select them all. Okay, there we go. Make sure you didn't grab any weird ones. And then you can just click R and scale in. Oh, what you can also do is before you scale in, you can hold tab and deselect those guys in the middle and then click R and scale them in. We're going to end up taking the top a little bit and moving it. So, all right. You don't need to push it in that much. Um, if you click three, you can kind of see how like the sections are rounding out a bit. I think that's good. Just a slight little intrigue just a slight little um, incline there all right now i want you to go into face mode and select these faces then click extrude Control e and up the thickness to get our little stem i'm also going to click e and rotate them and i'm going to click w and just push them a little bit down you can also double click on this edge here I think you might have to go. You can um, double click on this edge going all the way around. Might take a little bit since you have to do each of the sections separately. There we go. And then you can control B and bevel it and give it two segments and make it really small just to give that a bit more of a sharp uh, transition there. There we go. And then I just want to kind of change the shape of this overall. Um, I want, let's go into vertex mode and click space and go into front view. I want to select these guys and almost like push them up a little bit. Select the next and push them up. I'm trying to like just make it a little bit more flat because pumpkins aren't usually like an egg shape. And then I'm just going to like scale up some portions of these vertices. When you're scaling, make sure to hold control and scale up on the top axis. Um, that will scale uh, it symmetrically on both the X and Y axis, or both on the X and Z axis, but not on the Y axis. It scales whatever you don't select when you hold control. All right, that looks really cute. That's honestly about it for a little pumpkin. Um, what you can do lastly is you can grab these faces up here. Make sure you didn't grab any odd ones. We can hold it and assign a new material. I'll probably give it like a brown texture of some kind, pretty dark. And then you can select all those base faces and let's see, let's deselect this ring and assign a new material on that and make this guy orange, like our typical pumpkin. You can also take that object. Let's delete the history. You can then duplicate it by doing control D, move it on over. We could scale it down. We can make it a taller pumpkin. And we could even uh, texture this one to be like your typical white pumpkin that people get. There we go. 
assign a new material to the bottom half and make it like this white color. All right, in order to see how that's looking, go ahead, click on Arnold and grab a sky dome light. Let's go to poly modeling and grab a plane. Push it on down so it's sitting on it. I always give my plane the texture of a checkerboard, which you can get by clicking this checker and grabbing the checker texture. Pretty easy. And then if you go to Arnold and you can click on render or you can do Arnold render view. Arnold render. There you have it, your two little pumpkins. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller, or a little shorter. There we go. All right, there we go, some pretty easy pumpkins. Uh, you can add little like leaves to it if you want to add a little leaf. Uh, you can also add maybe like a little vine coming off of it. That might be something cute that you could add, um, but I kind of like this little plain look, so I'm going to go with that. If you guys have any questions at all on any of the processes that I did in this video, please let me know. I would love to hear it, um, but that is it for this tutorial, so I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.